we're going to go through this calorimetry calculation. Um, very common kind of calculation that you need to do, uh, be able to do. And in this particular um, problem, we are going to look at a system. Hopefully you can see that changing yellow there. We're going to look at a system where we are taking ammonium nitrate and we're dissolving it in water. And what you will notice about that dissolving process, of course you're fairly familiar, familiar with what that reaction might look like if you were writing it out. But what you may not know is that if you're holding a container in your hand and you mix ammonium nitrate in with the water, heat is going to start flowing out of your hand into that water because the water is going to cool down. So energy is flowing from the surroundings into our system. Um, and the reason we can tell that is the temperature before the temperature of that water, the temperature of the surroundings, was 22 degrees Celsius and after the mixing, it became it went down to 15. So that's um, a change in temperature of negative 7 degrees. So if before this was mixed, we had 100 grams of water in our um, calorimeter, and we put in 10 grams of the ammonium nitrate, and after we put in that 10 grams of ammonium nitrate, the temperature dropped. So the question is, what is the change in enthalpy of this solution? What's the enthalpy of this solution? So to calculate that, um, we're going to, of course, make use of this equation that heat equals the change in mass times the specific heat times the change in temperature. So that, that would be mass times specific heat times change in temperature. And we're also going to take into account the first law of thermodynamics that says heat is, um, or energy, is conserved. The total amount of energy doesn't change. And so if uh, the heat is lost by the surroundings, that means it had to be gained by our solution. But you'll notice that the sign has changed because if um, the energy lost by the surroundings is a positive number, the heat gained by the solution uh, would be a negative number. It's just the opposite in sign uh, depending on whether you're losing or gaining heat. So we can calculate the heat that uh, was lost from the water in this reaction. The heat that was lost in the water would be the mass of the water times the specific heat of water times the change in temperature of the water. Well, that would be 100 grams of water times 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius. That's the specific heat of water. And the change in temperature was a change from 22 down to 15 or negative 7. So we get the product of that and we find that that is negative 2,926 joules. Now remember that the heat gained by the solution, the heat gained by our system, is just the opposite in sign. So we want to be sure and change this since we're wanting to know the enthalpy of our solution, we want to change that to a positive number because we know that our solution is gaining gaining energy from the surroundings. Um, so this is an endothermic reaction and it should have a positive delta H. So if we take the joules of energy and we divide that by moles, well, we had 10 grams 
of ammonium nitrate. You can convert that to moles, and that'll give you 0.1249 moles of ammonium nitrate. So to calculate the change in enthalpy of solution, we're going to divide the number of joules by the number of moles, get joules per mole, and that's going to end up being 23,000 427 joules per mole, or 23.4 kilojoules. That would be the enthalpy of the solution for ammonium nitrate. Now we could go on, uh, look up that value on the internet, and see what our percent error is.